I think this is gonna work quite nicely. It looks pretty hardcore. Honestly, I don't think it's a sewing project unless you get a little injury. <laughs> this is not working the way that I thought it would. Hello and welcome back to the Neck for Adventure YouTube channel. My name is AJ. And today's video is a little bit more on the sustainability side of the Knack for Adventure channel. I'm going to be repurposing a couple quilts that I already have in order to make a Juicy IPA inspired vest. Speaking of Juicy IPAs, I just want to say thank you so much to the sponsor of this week's video, and that is a local craft brewery called Squatters. They have this very iconic purple can of Juicy IPA and I personally think it's one of the best flavors. So the vest I will be making is heavily inspired by that purple can with the green hop. I will say there were some mess ups and mistakes, but you know what? That's okay. I'm super happy with it and I hope you enjoy this video. The main purpose of this project is to use what I already have. So as of right now, I have this giant quilt. I have used it for some projects already. I made this nice little quarter zip. I reused this top quarter zip piece, um, but the rest of it was from that quilt. It has a really cute little like scalloped edge and it's mostly white, but it does have some of these floral patterns, a little bit of embroidery, but it's still in the same color palette as the Juicy IPA. So I feel like it's gonna work on the front. It has those floral patterns, but on the back, it's completely white. So if I need to have a lot of white space, I have plenty of it. I also used the white quilt as sleeves for this jacket, which it combined another like snowman blanket. So that will be for like the main portion of the jacket. But to replicate the can, I have this nice purple quilt has like this fun kind of diamond pattern on it. Got a nice purple color going on. This can also has some fun dark greens, some light greens, a little bit of a mix. So we're just gonna go through my scrap fabric bin and just figure that out. But I think those are gonna be more like finishing touches. So let's bring it back and start with the construction of the vest. I was able to draw out a little bit of inspiration right here, just a nice little vest. I do want to incorporate the floral a little bit on both the sides, but for the most part, it is going to be white with the can on the back. Now, I found this vest in my closet and I really like the fit of it, but I do think I'm going to crop it. Yeah, it'll probably crop more like here-ish. So we're going to use this as kind of a working pattern and start cutting. I think this is gonna work quite nicely. I really like how the floral is on the back. It's gonna be covered up a little bit by the can, but I don't know, it looks pretty. I'm just double checking that these are lining up kind of give a symmetrical look on either side of the vest. Ooh, that rotator is very sharp. <laughs> Be right back. Honestly, I don't think it's a sewing project unless you get a little injury. <laughs> it took me forever, but I finally found a band-aid. And Joe's here for the moral support. Back to it. Probably my favorite thing about repurposing stuff is that you're kind of at the mercy of 
whatever you have. You just have to work with what you got and sometimes it just might turn out better than you expected. Here are the front two pieces. I love the little flower details in the front. I think it's really pretty. I'm also thinking about possibly making this vest be reversible. The all white side will have the can on the back and then you can reverse it and have the flowers. Might sleep on that idea, but I think it's gonna be cool if I could get basically two vests out of it. What do you think, Joe? shape that I wanted. So this is going to be the reverse side. We can also wear it this way. We're gonna figure out the logistics of that as we go. I do have some bias tape. I can kind of cover the inside seam. This is looking cute so far. I really liked this length of crop. I'm still trying to decide whether I want buttons or a zipper, but I've got plenty of room to work with. Another thing about repurposing fabric is that sometimes I just am like trying to use up as much fabric as possible. I want as little waste um, as I can, but look how well this lined up. I feel like this doesn't ever happen. <laughs> oh yeah. So I think we can move on from here. It's day two. We're making a vest. Let's start putting needles through some fabric. <laughs> I have the vest all sewn together, the main part of the vest, but I do want to make it reversible. I think that would just be a lot more fun and a little bit of a challenge because I have to cover these seams. I do have this bias tape that's been sitting in my closet for a couple months. I think this color will be kind of fun. We're going to use it to cover up these exposed seams right here in order to flatten them. It's a little pop of green to match the juicy can. so. I think this is working out. <laughs> also, please just look how cute the floral looks. Oh, is that a new scarf for you, Joe? Maybe we can use Joe's teeth as the, the needles. Get it. I feel like for a lot of my upcycling projects, I'll kind of just rough it <laughs> and it's whatever I get, I'm gonna get, but we're gonna try and clean it up a little bit. Is that a rhyme? And I'm going to use this as my top thread in order to match the bias tape and then have white on the bottom so that this is gonna have a nice clean white seam. <laughs> Honestly, this first one is a little wonky, but we're gonna learn from my mistakes and try again with the other side. It does look like my tension is a little bit off. You can kind of see some of the green thread on the underside, so. We're gonna adjust that and see if that helps. I think that helped quite a bit. I took a brief break from the vest in order to make some Knack for Adventure beanies for a giveaway I did on my Instagram. Now would anyone enter a little hidden giveaway if I did one on this YouTube video? <laughs> you know what? 
I'm just deciding now that I want to do one, so if you want to enter to win a beanie like this, subscribe to our channel and comment what color beanie you would want, and I'll choose a couple of winners. Oh. Now, um, back to the best. Next up, I used fabric from this comforter to make my own bias tape. I wanted to incorporate this floral pattern on the arms and the front of the vest. I won't show you that whole process because it took a lot longer than I anticipated and I definitely used a cooler and a blanket as a makeshift ironing board. But either way, I'm super proud of how it turned out and all that was left to do was sew those pieces on. What do you think? Should I just like leave these pins in? <laughs> Looks pretty hardcore. Momo is sitting in my sewing chair and I'm trying to decide if I should <laughs> stir her and awaken. Maybe is that okay if I use that chair? Just finished up the main portion of the vest and I'm really digging how this kind of lining came out. From further away, it almost looks camo, which I think is pretty cool. <laughs> However, this vest is far from symmetrical. <laughs> <laughs> the side is definitely a little bit wider, but you know what, that's okay. I think I'll place the fasteners here-ish. So yeah. Maybe it'll look like it's supposed to be like this. You can definitely tell on this side. <laughs> it's one of a kind, you know? After finishing the vest, it was time to make a scrapbook as style juicy IPA to put on the back. I used some scraps off both my white and purple quilt, remnants of a gray t-shirt, as well as pieces of green fleece. I also cut out some leaves off the floral comforter for the green hop. I was super proud of it once I finished, but when I went to attach to the vest, I completely f***ed it up. No! To prevent stitches along the back of my reversible vest, I tried to use some iron-on material, but first I accidentally did it on the wrong side. <laughs> and then when I did it on the right side, it didn't stick at all. <laughs> This is not working the way that I thought it would. So I reverted back to the original plan and just stitched on the juicy patch. I'm honestly surprised how well it turned out and I think the original mess up will prevent the patch from fraying. The last couple things included hand sewing some little fasteners on the front of the vest and then adding the Knack for Adventure logo. Overall, I was so happy, or should I say, hoppy about how this turned out. I decided not to do the pockets because I went for the reversible look, but everything else was just as I imagined, if not better. Best of all, besides the hook and eye fasteners, I used everything I already had on hand, and I was able to create a one-of-a-kind upcycled piece of clothing that I definitely will be pairing with summer trips to the brewery. Thanks again to Squatters Craft Beers for sponsoring this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And check out my other socials for other sustainable and outdoor-centered content. Thanks for watching and keep on crushing! That last video made me realize how dirty it is in there, so we're just gonna do a quick clean.